Truck Week here at News Nation. Truckers are responsible for getting everything from food to fuel across the country. 15 million trucks move in more than 70% of everything we consume in America. But the men and women behind the wheel certainly are not getting a lot of credit after two years of being essential workers. News Nation senior correspondent Brian Enton jumped in the cab of a big rig, now joins us from a truck stop near Miami on I-95. Uh, is the issue a shortage of truckers? Is it low pay? Where, where does this go next and how do we solve the problem? It's interesting, Leland, because a lot of people use the phrase, uh, phrase trucker shortage, but when you actually start talking to the truckers, they say it, it's really a retention issue. Uh, you have a lot of truckers, older truckers who retired, uh, and they're having a hard time filling those jobs. And then you have younger people taking the jobs because the pay is very, very good. You can start out easily making six figures. So they think, wow, this will be a great job. They get the license and they don't know exactly what they signed up for because as we learned riding along with the trucker uh, from North Carolina to Pennsylvania, it is a hard life and a hard job. You're away from your family sometimes weeks on end. Um, it's more expensive these days. Obviously gas prices are more, maintenance is more, tires are more, uh, repairing the truck costs more. So, so the younger people who are taking the jobs yeah. are quickly realizing, yeah, the, the pay is good, but this isn't exactly what I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, I have that feeling every day of my life. Um, chalk it up to one yeah. more, chalk it up to one more job though, that the younger generation, the Gen Z, uh, even with good pay and all the things that even people as old as you and I were okay with the hardships of a job for, they're just not interested. And I'm, I'm old enough to remember a couple of years ago, everyone was terrified that uh, trucks that were computerized and automated uh, were going to put truckers out of business. Now we got the reverse problem. Yeah, we totally do. And and also like the truckers that I was talking to here, you know, they say the coolness factor is sort of gone. You know, 30, 40 years ago, there was almost, dare I say, like a sexiness to the trucking industry. It was in TV shows. People thought truckers were cool. A lot of that has sort of gone out the window and young people might get into it thinking it's going to be cool. And they just realize it's a ton, a ton of hard work. Yeah, most jobs that pay six figures are. Uh, Brian Enton. Uh, at a truck stop uh, just north of Miami. Brian, thank you. Truck Week on News Nation continues. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.